This is Pat Dunn, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Hopefully I have the performance issues um, fixed. This is exciting, well, isn't it? are there any questions? Ah, yes. Well, why do I expect any enchantment? Now, let's see. Okay, so we're going to keep on heading down and see what the professor that we were referred to wants of us. And another thing that we're going to try and do is capture a few souls and soul gems. And that will definitely help us later on with um, later on when we're trying to level enchanting. Oh, that is weird. Okay. So to take forever you what you must be. i've only looked try and be careful all right just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that i can tap on them. okay so this is where having this uh this compass helps because there's otherwise it seems pretty unlikely that we'd be uh finding these little rings on the floor And there are a few other things that we could scoop up, but none of them are all that exciting, so I don't bother. I grabbed an amulet. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. So this is the other side of that gate that we saw up there. Anyhow, let's put that amulet on. Okay, Sarthal amulet. And in, in order to actually move on, we're going to need to knock down this wall. So you'll notice I'm not actually using um, using offensive magic very much in the game. But there are some places where you absolutely have to use it. So, yeah, that knocked down the wall, and we're going to move on past the wall. Let's see what else we can find here. Some mushrooms for alchemy. Come on, Tolftir. Yeah, so there's a lot of ruined books that you'll find in the game. They're not particularly useful. There is a one very limited use that you can uh, that you can find for them, but So he's part of the Psychic Order, which is one of the many organizations that handle magic uh, in the world of Tamriel. So it's not entirely clear how friendly um, the Psychic Order and the College of Winterhold are. But uh, it's okay. Yeah, I met with the guy from the Sigic Order. Blah, 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 blah. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Okay. Shield, ooh, an ingot. And let's switch back to the shield. Why are you picking on me, dude? I'm not the one. Aha, got a soul. And another soul that he just happened to be carrying on him that happened to be full. 
and I can heal myself up. I am reasonably prepared, anyhow. Whoop. You frequently will take a little bit of damage in the game from stumbling over things. I guess maybe your character is a little bit clumsy or something. Okay. Eat sword. And some arrows, which again, because they don't weigh anything, might as well scoop them up. And another Draugr dead. So that is a long way down, it looks like. But we, I don't think we get to go down there. So we're just going to keep on heading on. He's going to stick around behind and take a look at uh, more stuff in the ruins. Now, this area ahead is kind of dangerous. At least at the level uh, that I'm at right now, it's pretty dangerous. So I will be careful and greedy, because it's also a fairly profitable area. All these urns can have potions and rings and all sorts of other good stuff, but there's also not enough light here. Just about sure that there will be foes all around. Like that guy. Okay. Do I have enough uh, magicka to trap his soul? No. I do have enough sword to hopefully kill him. Sweet. And for the level up, what are we going to do? Let's improve our, uh, our health a little bit more. And we're actually going to improve our blocking. Or no, we're not. We don't have it leveled enough to do that. Okay. Um, let's improve our sneaking because that will definitely help us out a lot in surviving this area. Keep on creeping forward. Oh, let's keep Soul Trap ready. Whoa! Oh, we must have stepped on a... Uh... So there are traps... Uh, uh, magical traps in the game, and if you're not careful enough and step on them, typically they'll explode and uh, burn you or shock you. Um, they're one of the reasons why it's pretty important for mages to have health, because there's not a lot that you can do, uh, do about them, um, apart from triggering them if they're blocking the direction that you need to go. Okay. I think, oh shoot, two at a time, great. I think I might have actually missed this guy. Oh, I'm taking some Okay. Well, one thing's for certain, by the time I make it out of here, I will have improved my uh, healing ability considerably. Okay, 
yeah, yeah, looks good. Let's keep on tiptoeing up these. Oh, okay, there is a bow definitely up there. Let's see if I can get a nice first blow in before the combat starts. Maybe a nice second blow. And a nice third blow. Well, that's cool. And I can craft this soul. And kill him. Okay, that's good. Let's heal up and then hopefully light up the room a little bit because it is pretty dark. Let's see, is that... Okay, it's open. Because a lot of these coffins will just pop open when you get near and a nasty monster will come out and get you. Which always makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, how am I doing on... So yeah, sometimes there's also a dragger that just happened to be lying in these uh, these cubby holes, and so you're probably going to want to be careful when you walk by to see which ones are occupied by ones that can come to life versus critters that you can just um, loot. And also, as you can see, there are some good alchemy ingredients together. Here's another one of those traps. It looks like an arrow trap. More stuff. Whoop! Okay, our casting a spell made enough noise that there are some baddies that are be are, go are going to be coming after me. Let me make sure that I have... I do. Okay, and now I'm going to have to put these guys to the sword. I want that guy dead because he's more dangerous. Sweet. There's some gold. Now one of the things that you might not have really noticed, if you hold down the A button, which ordinarily is used to pick things up, but if you just hold it down what, rather than tap it, you can actually dra uh, drag monsters around, which is kind of handy. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, we already grabbed the stuff out of this chest. Let's see, is there anything else that we see? No, let's keep on moving. Okay... Okay, this is a puzzle room light it up so we can see what's going on. So this puzzle is really easy, you just need to match what's above to what's below. And yeah, these kind, uh, kinds of puzzles, they only have three positions and you just need to uh, just need to rotate them to the uh, each one to the proper one and typically pull a handle. Although sometimes they do something immediately when you have them all in the right orientation. Looks like we've got it right. If you get it wrong, then very nasty things will happen. Like poisoned arrows, or a spike wall, all sorts of unpleasant things. Uh, up there is probably a bad guy. We'll make a little bit of noise. See if that will trigger him. No, apparently not. Wait. I think we've we've let him know that we're here. So, where is he? Ooh, he's a pretty tough bad guy. He can use the thumb. That is not a good sign. Hopefully. He is not going to be good enough at, uh, at navigating these kinds of spaces that I can just hang out here. Oh, 
I'll lure him back. Yeah, definitely cool thing about the undead. They are not particularly intelligent. And they're not good at climbing, although very few creatures in this game are. Oops. Unfortunately, this guy, yeah, he's whoop, he's definitely tough because this one swing of his axe took me down that much. So, okay, let's light her up. And we'll step forward and lure him back out again. Probably. So I would try and avoid being too shameful about doing this kind of thing. You need every advantage you can get. And in my long video game career, I've done many pretty geeky things. Made spreadsheets to manage professions. The games will cheat. You might as well uh, approach them with as much intelligence as you can, uh, as long as it doesn't seem totally abusive. This doesn't seem totally abusive. Okay, that does it. And that is the end of him. Uh, and we can get back to our shield and sword. Let's see if there's no, he was just using the battle axe. Nothing all that amazing, although it does have pretty decent damage. Just, it's too heavy to bring with us for sails. And I would prefer to stick with my trusty sword. Let's see. More useful things. Ooh, and another sword if we want it. And there's another one of those traps. Um, I wonder if I can shout it. Yeah, cool. Well, except I was still too close, and it hurt me anyhow. Well, it was a smart idea. Um, I will just have to actually do it better in the future. And looks like the future is not very far away. Switch back to candlelight. We'll wait till our shout cooldown is done. And it is. And we are ready to proceed. Okay, so here's another puzzle room. Snake, dolphin, dolphin, bird. Oh, except it looks like these are moving the other ones. Dolphin. Dolphin, dolphin, bird. Saint dolphin, dolphin, bird. Okay, I think we're good. Sweet. We gotta save. Just to be safe. Just based on intuition and the pacing of the game, I am going to bet that there is another foe down here. Actually, I do want to have them. Twelfth Deer, good to see you. Okay. Oh, alchemy thing. With a free potion and a book. One of the quirks of the game is anytime you pick up a book, you start to read it. But... And here is a steel horned helmet. You will see that it, its value is 125, its weight is 5. That is worth um, over, t uh, yeah, its uh, pound value efficiency is over 20. Definitely, whoop, definitely want to pick it up. Free potion, earn. I uh, don't know what this trap does, but I would prefer to avoid finding out the unpleasant way. Looks like it's an arrow trap. Well, that's okay. And free soul gem, 
There's a defeated Draugr and a Steel Shield. And... Okay. What is up ahead? Aha! Interesting. There is a weird glowy light up ahead. Except we need a little bit more light of our own. Let us see what is going on. And down there, there is also what looks like a Draugr. So... Oh, keep it busy. Okay, well, that's not all that fun, but I will try and keep it busy. Um, unfortunately, this guy looks pretty dangerous. Not sure how it compares... But I do not want to be beaten up by this dude. So if I can manage to avoid taking too many more hits, that would be great. And he is up there. Okay, if he is willing to stay up there, then I am willing to give him arrows from over here. It's most generous, I'm sure that you'll agree. Oh, sweet. He is dead. He actually wasn't as tough as that, um... Is that previous guy? So he is looking at that weird circle -y thing. But I'm gonna head up and loot this guy before I uh, before I. Well, where was he? There he is. So we get another kind of hidden quest. Tolfdir, what is the plan? So he wants the Archmage to be told about this, which is fine by me. Let's make, make sure that there's nothing else we want in this room, because I don't believe I will be coming back here. Yeah, so I really like the architecture of, uh, of these, um, of most of the dungeons. Since usually you can kind of figure out that they really were aiming for um, very high quality tombs, very accessible. Unfortunately, in a lot of the dungeon, uh, in a lot of the dungeons in Skyrim, you'll find uh, that a lot of the passages have collapsed, so they're not actually as um, open as they otherwise would be. But you can see what the original architects had intended. Did I? Yeah, I already did. Okay. So yeah, um, he wanted me to head back out and talk to uh, the Archmage, so I'm just running backwards through the dungeon. And we already have it cleared, so hopefully there won't be any surprises on our way out. And on my way I'm going to keep on casting spells that will uh, improve my mastery of some of these useful uh, schools of magic. Muffle. Okay. And yeah, uh, the dungeons are sometimes divided into, uh, uh, into sub-dungeons. I'm guessing that's just uh, because they were too big for the game to keep the entire dungeon in memory at once. Oh. Okay. This is something we didn't really notice too much when we were uh, unlocking the path forwards. That um, that those pull chains uh, close the way backwards as well. And a lot of the uh, torches in the game you can pull off the wall and bring with you. Apparently not uh, these ones. 
Okay, so you're gonna head back. It's going to take for I see. I'll add this to the rest of the items. I don't think there's well, certainly I'll be amazed if we find anything. Let's give him those those rings that we found. Oh whoops. I guess I should probably put a light spell in our left hand. Because it it is getting pretty dark down here. Or I guess it always was, but it's hard to see. But yeah, this is why I like this mod so much. It adds so much to the atmosphere of the game to have brightness be uh, be more realistically rendered, although it does introduce a certain amount of hassle given that you suddenly need to provide a lot more light. Although on the upside, it, it also means that you'll be leveling alteration a lot uh, quicker. Okay, so we're back outside. We're just going to fast travel back up to the college. And we're actually done with Sarth uh, Sarthal now. And so we're getting pretty near to where we'll stop pursuing this quest line and start pursuing the other ones. But we're not quite at that point yet. So yes, we will be heading back to take care of the Horn of Jürgen uh, Windcaller. But hopefully we'll be doing it with uh, Jusargo as um, as our buddy. Okay, it's Savos. Ah, please don't tell me that I'm not. I thank you for Tolfti. Since he's a pe speak with Oop and good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, so he gave me a stage of mage light. Not particularly useful to me, but that's okay. And Urog is the uh, librarian. Oops, I went the wrong way. And he's a pretty guy, uh, cool guy. He's an orc. Uh, and he's decent at, uh, at magic, although you're probably not going to I notice it unless you attack him, and in general, attacking people here is not that uh, intelligent. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Okay, so. I know it. Well, you don't even need to act. I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always look Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I had heard about. Check it out, but be as a man immensely he hold him since then. I've heard whispers of more of his work. Okay, there. so we've advanced the uh, it may prove useful to all the main uh, quest that we're uh, that we're working on in the college uh, a bit, and picked up two side quests. And let's see if we can sell any books that we don't need to him. Well, I guess that's about as good as we're gonna get. Fight well. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarfo, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarfo. Something was dis... That sounds... Thank you for your help. You may go. Okay, so we're done with him for now. And, uh... I'm gonna see. I don't know if Jazargo is available now, 
or if I need to um, need to get those books back uh, first. So let's head over to where the uh, the apprentice mages are housed, including me, and see if he's there. If he is, then we can take care of the rest of this later, which would be nice because the next step in that quest, retrieving those books, it's kind of tough. Or at least I think it'll be tough at this level. I'm not seeing any anyone else here. So they might only come back after If you have a moment. Oh sweet. They're back. Hey Tolf dear. I can't find if you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? Oh, Jazargo. Can, can you possibly help Jazargo? Maybe Skyrim was not Jazargo's first. Jazar, you must be. Jazargo is working hard, but can Jazargo? But Jazargo works so hard. Jazargo will give you. Sc you tell Jazargo when. <laughs> Let's see. It is a special. Jazargo gives you plenty of these scrolls. Sweet. So you try. So, so yeah, once we help him with uh, with this quest, then uh, we have the option of asking him to come with us, which is handy. Uh, he also has a quest. Here too, eh? I'd hoped I wouldn't be the only Nord, but I should have known better. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence. I know he's. I also know that no one really believes that. I've been trying to. Avoid... Well, look at the throw in, the... and finally take the fact that the college is the only thing left standing after most of Winterhold was destroyed. It's all fair for death. I need your help. With... We shouldn't have. Yes, I may have entered into it. It was a mistake, in it, but he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my okay. back. And then we can help. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, Berlina. No, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I know Winterhold. Does that cover everything? No, I. Suppose. Now I'm here to study conjuration. We're all. Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Oh, good. Now, you just stand there. You shouldn't have been disturbing Sarah. Please hold still. No matter what and you don't found move. Down there. Okay. I'd better go back. Now I. Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you. Do you feel alright? You look very. um. green. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. It's. it shouldn't be. You'll be back, and when you are, we can try this again, and I'll be sure to get it right. Okay, so we have taken part in a very silly experiment, and we're going to take a, uh, a rest over here, and the magic wore off. Okay, we do intend to help Berlina, but we'll do it in the next uh, Let's Play. So that's all for this uh, video.